Hi, I'm Richard Neal, and I have just seen The Last Witch Hunter with Vin Diesel. So I guess that makes it a 2015 release. In any case, I've seen a lot of critic reviews for this. It's obviously been out for a while. I am now reviewing it, and I have to say I agree with most of the critics. It's not a bad movie. It's not a good movie. It's kind of just there. This particular film suffers from the whole yeah, there's a hole there in the plot, and it doesn't make a lot of sense. You've got this thing over here that's not very well defined. If you're going to make a movie, a fantasy movie, you need to give the movie its own logic. And I didn't feel that was really there with The Last Witch Hunter. There was stuff there. It was sort of explained. Okay. Nimbus did not see the movie with me, but uh, she, she wants to be in this video very badly because she's making noise, so here she is. Aren't you, sweetheart? Aren't you? Incidentally, she's looking for a home, so if any of you live in Los Angeles and would like a kitten, uh, there is one. In any case, I thought Vin Diesel was really good as The Last Witch Hunter. It's very much a reprise of his original Riddick from Pitch Black. Not uh, necessarily the Chronicles of Riddick Riddick, but the pitch black, very in control, very subdued Riddick that um, is a master of himself and much of his environment. And I like that aspect. He was a really cool character. The, the Catholicism expressed in this film, because you really can't have that much of a witch movie without at least a little Catholicism made me ask a very interesting question. I mean, if magic is real, why don't the Catholics have their own magic? Because they do. I mean, they have relic magic, which is generally involving the relics of the saints, and that should really be addressed in the movie. If you're going to have that going on, I mean, there's basically a Catholic order of priests. They're not monks, but they're priests, and they go about... Nimbus, please, stop that. They go about, you know, protecting or serving or doing something with the witch hunter who appears to be very wealthy after all this time, and they haven't, uh, haven't explained all that. So, yeah, I mean, there's that. Another thing that would have been good is explaining more of the witch hierarchy because they did mention that there are levels of witches, uh, things of that nature, but they did not come out. There's somebody using the door. They did not come out and explain how that worked and what level of uh, which that uh, they were dealing with in, in varying categories. And they also didn't explain the difference between magic and black magic. You just have to uh, rely on your existing knowledge and understanding of these things. But, I mean, it is mentioned that black magic is involved in necromancy and um, you know no other form of magic specifically is noted although runes are used so there is that I, I guess uh, you could call this a Catholic versus Celtic tradition sort of a movie again I enjoyed it the CG is wonderful you could hardly tell it's CG it looks really good. There's a number of wonderful scenes in it, but is it a, a great movie? No. It needed better writing. I think it was executed well, but it slowed down in the middle. It was good at the beginning, it was good at the end, and there were plot holes. If you want to sit down, have yourself some popcorn, drink a Slurpee, and enjoy this movie, I think you're going to have a good time with it, but if you're looking for a masterpiece, this ain't it. Right, Nimbus.